we do have a, an announcement system that goes throughout the building, and, and we will call a code, a code blue, and the code blue here is that someone has taken a walk. And so there are designated people, uh, most of, almost all of us are art admin people, there are one person from there, and we will we'll go down, get the picture, and, and, and then find her. If we can, him or her, so far it's always been hers. But if we can find them, then what we do is we just walk, and we talk. Okay, where are we going? Let's go down to the caramel corn shop. Let's go get some licorice sticks. Or, and so we, we just make it a tour, and rather than fight with them, because, I don't know, you know, my mother's still alive. I can't tell her anything. I, you can't fight with these people when they get something in their mind. And so pretty soon, if you if you begin talking enough, you can or can get them back around. And then then they will begin to ask, if they, when they get comfortable, they'll begin to ask questions like, when is Dorothy picking me up? Oh, she, that's right. She will be pick, You know, we can't be here. We've got to be back here when Dorothy picks you up or she won't know where to go. And then we can get them coming home. So it becomes a, a kind of one-on-one -on -one activity with them. Uh, and, and at first I, I thought, oh my God, they're running away every day. Just get the one-on-one -on -one activity. <laughs> but, but they really don't. Uh, there, there really is, there are, there are definitely triggers. And once we figure out what it is that makes them go, uh, we can pretty much stop the behavior right away. So, uh, but it is kind of one of those things of, you know, what does happen? Because we have we have had them elope, and and we haven't found them for two or three blocks. We have a we I have to say that the police force in Easton has us pegged. They know everything about us, and they and they are very aware that we have people that sometimes wander. They're very aware of the shelter, and I don't think we've ever had to call a policeman when the response time has been over two minutes. I mean, they are here immediately, even if they have to send somebody down when we're really close. So they've been great to us. I have to give them many kudos for that, and they find somebody wandering, and I'm, we're the first place they call. We're not always the right place, but uh, we Okay, any questions? I will be happy to